stuff. It's here at UW Medicine's virology lab where the picture of Omicron spread is coming together. You know, we have the tools to, to put early, early eyes on it, so that's what we're trying to do. Pavitra Roy Chowdhury is a computational biologist. In other words, as the spread of the virus is really a math problem, she's the one who tracks it on where Omicron has been and where it might be going. And we thought this was important data to get out there. And this is what's grabbing our attention. This shows the progress of Omicron cases as measured at the UW. These orange dots are not individual cases, but the percentage of suspected Omicron cases out of a day's worth of positive COVID tests the lab analyzed. It's not that the numbers are big. Mm -hmm. It's the trajectory of the numbers, is it not? That's right. So we can take these samples, look at when they were collected, and then look at the total number of samples from that collection date. What the lab looks for first is a missing gene on the coronavirus identified by the letter S. That's a tip off that the sample is very likely to be Omicron. The vast majority of the ones that we test that have the dropout are indeed Omicron. And this rocket-like trajectory is a worry. As you look at what we have so far in terms of this trajectory, how does this seem to stack up? The rise is very rapid relative to the other variants that we have seen um, and how it's, how it's going to go from here, I don't know. So this is the lab that spotted the first three cases that were announced back on Saturday, December 4th, obviously from samples that were gathered over the previous week. So far through portions of yesterday, they have more than 50 cases just recorded to this lab not counting what may have been recorded at the state lab, at Shoreline or other labs that are also hel helping in this effort. So far, we do not know what those other labs have seen, again, so far. So we get a partial picture here, but again, the focus is on how rapid we're seeing this rate of increase. Live in South Lake Union, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.